It's a very good day from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. My friend here, Stephen, says that he's never had a good day here. Whereas I always have a great day here, so something's got to give. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be more like what you're used to because we've we've been here for about 15 minutes and the coasters are open, but they're that infrequently going round that I'm worried that we're going to see one train specials everywhere. Yeah, I'm a bit worried that the capacity is going to be a bit low today. Should we walk and talk? So what's the plan? Where are we going first? Um, I reckon we go head towards Montu and... Yeah? Start working our way around from there, so that's kind of the process. Maybe even have a look at Cheetah Hunt, yeah. see what the queue's like for that. That's a really fun roller coaster. Yeah. Um, just to bear in mind, we have to put in a uh, more scheduled time for locker bath. Yes. There is a lot of um, bath. Z zero item policy here, so. Um, well, you say that, but you can take a GoPro and everything. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I, you know. <laughs> no, no worries about that. But it's no bags in stations, no. basically. I really like this park, it's got some really, really good coasters and I just like the vibe here, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just not sure that it's going to be as good as I'm used to here, especially with the uh, infrequent operations that we've seen so far. However, we have seen a turtle sitting on the top of the gator, so very brave from the turtle, but it was funny. So Montu is being advertised as a 10 minute waiting time. Fantastic. That is the b and invert here and hopefully we'll be able to show you a POV of it shortly. you should know about Montu every seat does not like anyone that's this size they've had to recheck almost every seat that everyone sat in it was just recheck this one re it's like when you're going on Galactica and they're rechecking all the rows it was <laughs> like that so got on it both times but uh, hopefully try and get you a better POV later where are we going now mate uh, oh cheetah hunts think, on 10 yeah Should I we... think that, that's probably a deal on cheetah hunts isn't it it's a noise <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, 
There we are. Hey! Good kit. It's not the best, but it's good. I hope this is the turning point of the day because I really enjoyed it. We've been on the cheetah hunt. Ten minute queue advertised. Yeah. Three birthdays later, we've been <laughs> on it. It is a great coaster, but oh my days. How long does it take? It took forever. So, the uh, interesting thing is them stations used to have individual they had monitors with saying which seats were not clear and it made the staff a lot more efficient and quicker which was great but it seemed to have taken it off on Montu and on um, Cheetah Hunt stop under the shade for a minute on Cheetah Hunt as well which you can tell because the operations are like you know three four minutes per dispatch yes. stacking two trains on a ride that only has two trains but Cheetah Hunt can run three trains constantly but yeah. that ain't happening it's quite, you can't handle two with that uh, what's going on there um, like, I don't know why they don't start checking the train as soon as the air gates close, you just kind of stand around. Maybe there's a procedure where they have to stand around for 50 seconds before they can start checking, I don't know. Um, a few times they did load people who, wheelchair access, which is fair enough. You know, you can't rush people who no. need that access, that's fine. But like, there were times when just nothing seemed to be happening. You're like, what are we waiting for? What's going on? I'm going to jump <laughs> in there and say, I don't think, I don't think it's a guest issue. I don't think it, any guest is to blame for how long no. it's taking. It is just, well, it's just a shambles so far, the <laughs> operations. I mean, Montu's on one train, yeah, but it feels like even slower than one train ops. It's just, yeah. oh, it's really bad. Like, yeah. I, I've been here, I've been here three or four times in the past. I have never seen these issues here before. Normally it's just like a perfect day, but this, Oh, it's not been good so far. No. Um, but let's talk about the actual ride experience. Now, Cheetah Hunt is absolutely fantastic as a ride. Uh, it was the, one of the first Intamin multi-launch coasters, and I, I do enjoy it. Like, you, it's not as good as like the new generation multi-launch coasters, but it's still a fantastic coaster. Um, today, one of the highlights, I think, was the water effect on the, the twisty turny section. Um, yeah, stop again. Which was enjoy the shade. Re really fun. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I enjoy that coaster. I, I do enjoy it. I just, um, it's a shame to see them not being able to get a trainer. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I think it's all right. It's, it is a fun coaster. There's some really good elements. I think if they were to ever upgrade it, it'd be nice to see some lap bar restraints on it. I think that would help their throughputs as well. But all in all, enjoyed it. And I have no idea where we're going next. So let's go. But oh, actually one thing. The chest harness is off, we switch to the wrist mount, waiting for the front row cues, we're not going to get everything done. So we're going to do everything on the wrist mount, and it might well be rider cams from here on in, but yeah, front row cues are taking forever because well, of the operations. We're two hours in and we've done two coasters, two coasters that have been advertised in five minute cues. So. Yeah. <laughs> that just says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, so, it does. Yeah, we're going to have to um, ditch the front row plan if, if, if we're going to do more than a few rides. So. Yeah, so uh, yeah. We'll see you on the next ride. I'm really f***ed off. That's as close as I'm going to get. We thought Cheetah Hunt, being brilliant, was going to be the turning point of the day. Uh, well, it's so again T-Flyer, the s and S Screaming Swing. Closed. Falcon's Fury. Closed. Due to high winds. There's no wind. Uh, <laughs> Right, okay, so time to go and do Baby Montu, Phoenix Rising. The new roller coaster here that Steve is really enthusiastic about, aren't you, mate?
through a lot. So we're just taking a ride on the new roller coaster, Phoenix Rising. I have a question, why did they build a new coaster that can only run on one train? I really don't get that. It's not a great coaster, I've got to be honest. Um, it's an improvement on Sand Serpent, which was the wild mouse that it's replaced, but it's still not a great coaster, I've got to be honest. And seven minutes to dispatch a train when it's running on one train, that is just dire. We're in the area where Scorpion is, which is closing, I believe, on the 9th of September forever. It's never reopening after that. So we're going to head over and probably have our last ever ride on that. Whatever they replace it with, I hope it has at least two trains. But anyway, time to go and do Scorpion, the classic Schwarzkopf coaster that is closing very soon. Our last ride on the Scorpion here at Bush Gardens. for any dodgy rider cam action starting now. I want it off. So we've done Scorpion, whilst it's not a favourite of mine, I'm glad we've been on it. When I say we, well I mean me and Stephen, as you will have hopefully seen in the video by this point. However, I don't know where Stephen's gone, I'm going to assume he's looking at Falcon's Fury to see if it's open, so we're going to have a wander, have a look for him, hopefully he'll find him, but he's a little bit grouchy about the Falcon's Fury situation, so uh, hopefully he'll cheer up and hopefully it'll open, but yeah, it's not looking good. Should I get the moan overdone? Yeah, get on with it. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to have a bit of a wrap up of why I'm a little bit annoyed today. Um, it's not windy at all today. This is closed due to high winds. There's been a lot of other closures. So we have managed to do Scorpion now, but Scorpion was down, Iron Guaz is down. Um, like the operations on the cases we've done have just been really dire. Um, I'm not feeling it today. I'd probably say this is my worst trip here that I've ever done, even when the park closed after two hours. Because <laughs> I have been here before, it was open for two hours and then it shut. So, um, and I got more rides done in that two hours than I've done today. Um, but like, I think the best thing to do, because I, I appreciate I'm very lucky to be able to come here and do these things. So hopefully they'll fix Iron Gwazi. This thing, I do think this is going to open today because I think they've just decided not going to staff it. I think they've been caught out with how busy it is and closed this to send the staff to other rides. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's how it feels. But um, we'll go onwards. I feel like we should head to Cumber because that's one I've not done very often and I have seen it going. So that's always been shut. So that might be a good positive to get me back in the mood. Next complaint. Included in our park tickets is all you can eat all day dining. Problem is, there's a lot of this going on. All the catering places we walked past so far have either got one person serving and a queue back to the front of the park, or the other ones are just closed. So uh, yeah, you get all day dining and your ticket, but you can't eat anywhere. Next up, Cooper, which we've just found out is on ride rotation and closing early today. So good thing we've come to it now.
Coomba, back row, absolutely brilliant. Stephen, what did you think? Uh, I I've only done this like once before because it's been shot on all my really? other visits. Yeah, what he wants, what he didn't want. And it's great. Uh, I, I do like this case there, it's as good as I remembered it. It's old school B&M. Yes. And as you know, Steve likes old school B&M. <laughs> so it's up there, one of the top B&M coasters. Good stuff. I've always liked Coomba. It's mm. an absolutely fantastic roller coaster. I actually think it's one of the best in Florida. I really do. It's just so forceful and such a great layout and there is just no head banging. It's not at all rough. It doesn't show its age. Fantastic coaster. They really do look after it, clearly. Brilliant, loved it. If we could if we had the time to lap it, I would be lapping it. But let's go find something else that's open. Oh and uh, some sun cream for me nose. Sun cream that I brought with me is uh, still at Universal. It's a forgotten gem, isn't it? What sun cream, yeah. Oh come back. Yeah. It is a forgotten gem. It's one that people, because it's kind of out on its own, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite easy to walk past it, but it, it is one not to miss if you're here and it's open, get yourself on it. Absolutely. It's worth the journey from Orlando. It certainly is. What's next? Find something that's open. <laughs> yeah, we have that issue today, aren't we? Yeah. It is a great park when everything's open. We managed to find food. Happy days. First time I've been to a ship at Chick fil A. Yeah. I can never say that for some reason, but yeah, it was open. We used the uh, all day dining. It's what, three o'clock? We finally got some food yeah. on the all day dining. But anyway, it was good. Next up is Stanley Falls Log Flume, or Stanley Fall Flume. It's a log flume. Stanley Falls Flume is next. There we go. Got it at the third attempt. All right, here we go. Stanley Falls Flume. A bit aggressive. You alright in the back? A little more just came over the back of the back. Fantastic. Oh, oh, we've, oh. we've dropped. It's an Arrow Dynamics log flume. Best in class. I do like a log flume. Not enough to sing about it. I know other channels do like to do that. We're on a log flume and all that, but we're no singing today, I'm afraid. Hopefully the guy at the back is going to get the soaking and the guy at the front is going to get a light sprinkling. I always think this is going to be a big drop. It really is. There we go. We are properly on our way now. There's not a lot of room in these boats. Be interesting trying to get four adults in. We'll try that in November when we're back. Right, here's the first drop. It's not really got a proper splashdown. Just picks up a lot of speed. Here we go. Oh! No splashdown. It's on its way. like a log flume. So much fun. There we go. Oh, we're leaning. Stop leaning on there, actually. B&M dive 
coaster. One of the best, if not the best, BM dive coaster. was a two ride special. The ride attendants let us stay on for another go, so we had two goes in the same seat. That row. Excellent. Best dive coaster for me. Uh, I think having the third row really enhances the dive coasters. Like, yeah, even does. though you don't get to look straight down, it is really cool. When it does release, you just get like really good airtime throughout the drop. So you just get launched. Yeah, it's good. Fantastic coaster. So we've not seen Ayanguazi going around at all today and we've heard a few people saying that they're angry that Ayanguazi is closed so we're now walking over to it to get angry that it's closed basically. <laughs> we're hoping that we've misheard or things are wrong but um, yeah and I've just I've got to do this this, this is from this is for you Mark. Mark Yates. Mark this is for you. I know how much you like this maze and I know how much you struggled with camera work when I was reviewing it two years ago so later on we'll be doing that maze Stephen's going to do it I've heard that's for you Mark I know how much you enjoyed that one and enjoyed filming it at the time just quickly confirming that Ayanguazi is in fact closed and the team at the entrance have confirmed it's been closed all day so coming to the end of our day here at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay and when I say end of the day, I mean end of the first part of the day. We've got Howlow Stream coming up. The vlog should already be on the channel from that event. But we are heading back to the front of the park to collect fast passes and stuff for Howlow Stream. But first, how's the day been, mate? Okay, can I be honest? Go for it. If today was my first day here, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone because there's clearly staffing issues. There's signs out saying rides are closed due to uh, weather conditions. It, it's been a beautiful, it's been the best day for weather I've ever had here. Yeah. So that doesn't fly with me. Um, I think that they haven't got enough. Like, there's signs everywhere saying apply here to be an actor, which is very concerning. <laughs> like when the event starts this evening. Um, so I, I think that they've taken from the, the rides team and using them to run the evening event as well. Uh, um, to back that up, Ian Guazi has just tested, um, which is it's now getting to close to the event starting. So if you had a day ticket... So I'm just going to jump in there and say, on the Hollow Scream event, there's a lot less rides open. Mm. So you can move the staff that you have got still here and put them on the small number of rides that are going to be open. Mm. Whereas in the day when you're supposed to have a full set of rides open yeah. they've just not been able to do it yeah. and I do wonder like Scorpion was 
was second of September it was met close. Yeah. Then all of a sudden it was the ninth. It's like have they reallocated staff from like Falcons Fury to go and work on Scorpion? But yeah. it, it's definitely been an issue with ride availability today. I've never known it be this bad. It's like when we did get to Cobra's Curse and consider doing it, closed. Montu, Faf, one train, walk on and it was like 10, 15 minute dispatches at times in the afternoon. I went back on it while Stephen was having a rest and it was like, I'm gonna miss Hall of Scream at this rate. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, the operations have been... Um, Awful. D dire. Uh, G-Ton had two trains. Um, not that they could get them out quick enough. <laughs> like, no. They could might as well have been on one, you know. It's been awful. I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush. It's been absolutely awful. I mean, I absolutely love this park. I remember at the end of the vlog in 2022, I said this is one of the best theme parks in the world, one of my favourites. Like you've said, if if this was my first visit here, I wouldn't come back. Same. Like, I, I, there's two rides I love at this park, and I'll be honest, that the two rides that I've travelled all the way here for, both have been closed all day, so that is uh, Falcon's Fury, which is an amazing Intamin drop tower, and uh, Iron Gwazi. Now, if I didn't have the... Um, Favourite rides are closed. Yeah, but if I didn't have the um, the, the thing tonight, the, for the um, Howlow Scream, chances are I wouldn't have got Iron Gwazi today. No. Either. So I would have been really ticked off. Like, to be honest, I'm a bit ticked off because... Um, well, it's very sus, isn't it, that all of a sudden Howlow Scream's starting yeah. in an hour, and, oh, look! I think was just testing. Yeah, yeah. What a surprise! It's not like um, there's been any kind of engineering working on any of these closed attractions. They've literally just like been put aside there. Not no staff member. Just then. Just... It, it is literally like they've got no staff. Yeah. That is literally. Yeah. And and that's a frustration when you know you pay. We paid quite a lot of money to come here today. Yeah. Um, and add to that, seven dollars for a bottle of coke. Yeah. It's. Um, what was it, $30 a meal? Luckily we had got that yeah. um, all day dining that we could only use twice. Yeah. But luckily we had it, otherwise we'd have been paying like yeah. $30 a meal. Oh yeah, it would have been expensive. And it's not worth it. No. It's, it's, it's not a $30 meal, it, it was a $10 meal. But it's... Parking. Parking, $35. It's ridiculous really. The, the experience that we've had for the prices that have been paid, we are entitled to slate it. I mean, the parks are bringing in these rules now where they're saying content creators can't basically talk about the things that were bad on their day. Well, if they can't do it on video, they'll just go on TripAdvisor, and whereas on YouTube, people will be a bit more reserved because, you know, people are actually listening to it. So I, I can think of many expletives to explain today. I'm just not going to use them out of respect for everybody that's watching. So I think the positive, right, positives. I did enjoy the ride on Cheetah when we eventually got on it after its 10 minute wait, there was nearly 45 minutes. Um, I did enjoy my ride on Monty when we eventually got on it again. <laughs> um, and Kumba was ace. The Sheikra is probably the highlight for me today. I've very much been, this hasn't been my favorite dive coaster. That was performing amazing today. Um, the airtime on the drops. I think it is a back row coaster, that one. Um, I know the dive coasters, people say the front because you get that hanging over the edge, but when you get the back, when that um, reverse chain conveyor, the clutching uh, releases, it literally just whips that back row over yes. and you just get proper ejectors. So if you like airtime, back row on that. Because most, well, our one at home, Oblivion, is only two cars, whereas it's got three cars. So that back car, you are still pretty much flat, but when it goes, it goes and it's ace. In the words of Matt, surprise package of the day <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it definitely was i did enjoy it i did enjoy it it was good fun right it's time to reset give them a clean slate and see see what how low scream is like because i remember two years ago i can hear an rmc same <laughs> i remember two years ago i had a similar day at SeaWorld, then did how low scream at SeaWorld, and it was excellent but because i was so peed off from the day at SeaWorld in the daytime i just couldn't enjoy it like i really wanted to so hopefully we can now reset, we've got this out of our system, we've got a big rant about it, move on, enjoy Howlow Scream. That vlog will already be on, so I'll, I will link it, whichever side it is, I cannot remember. But uh, yeah, it's 
Come on, Bush Gardens. You are better than this. That they, is all I'm going to say. Better. I've seen them do better. I, I normally love it here. Like I said, on that day I had two hours before the storm came, Yeah. I had a better day. <laughs> yeah. So, um, my ride availability was way better. So, I, I, like I say, I, I, do, I, I think it is purely staffing because that, that's just eye testing. You know, the other rides have started closing now. It's clearly a staffing issue now. They've got the stuff there to run it. Yeah. They're going to get it open. So, Because this area has been dead all day, the entrance yeah. of the park. So. I wouldn't have, of all the choices, I probably wouldn't have closed that one if I couldn't, but like, it depends what people are trained on, I guess. But Yeah. yeah. Uh, anywho, um, seeing it move has got me a bit excited again. So <laughs> I reckon reset, evening going. Now um, I'll let you finish off. Actually, yeah. I think I'm done with everything I want to say. So um, yeah, not the best, but um, I know they can do better. Hopefully they will do better going forwards. Cool. So in the words of Jeremy Clarkson, and on that terrible disappointment, it's back to the studio many thanks for watching if you have enjoyed this vlog please hit the like button sort of thumbs up below please subscribe please comment many thanks for watching see you next time